In 2014, 2.75 kilotons of mostly ammonium nitrate high explosive was confiscated from an abandoned MV Rohuris ship. That's the name of it. Uh, it was stored at a warehouse as a ammo dump at a specific set of location data you can get below, including a street view, in the port of Beirut, Lebanon. It caught fire at uh, 1500 hours, 8 minutes, 18 seconds GMT, and detonated at 3.3 on the Richter scale, killing 78 people, injuring 4,000, wrecking the Beirut port silos right nearby, and damaging buildings 10 kilometers or 6 miles away with debris. This is just about the same as the Texas City disaster of 1947, and larger than the Tangent explosion in 2015. Uh, you can see a hotel window view of it until it's taken off of the map because the maps are heavily regulated for that country uh, at, uh, at Google Maps at goo.gl slash maps slash mub7e30 or 30, excuse me, snstmg9d36. And you can also look at the uh, Wikipedia article. But anyway, yeah, it was um, storing material that's, as of that date, uh, and long afterwards, and long before that, notorious for causing these sort of ridiculously large-scale explosions. They can catch on fire and blow up. It doesn't take much uh, to do it. And if there's a small explosion, it will throw the stuff up in a big poof, and then that will detonate and create a fuel-air explosion, as if it needed to be even more explosive. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that, and uh, let's hope that the, the death count doesn't go up.